Hi, on this video we're going to show you how to use count in VBA. There's a couple ways that you can use it. We're going to be identifying three main ways to do this and kind of an extra, which is a worksheet function. And so I've got all of my code open and it's ready to roll and I've got my code here. So let me just talk through it real quick. We'll run it real fast and then we'll just uh, go from there. So first thing is, is we've got sheet count. So that's going to give a sheet count right here. Then we've got based on the selection that we have, it's gonna give us a row count, column count based on the selection that we have. And then we've got a couple worksheet functions in here, which is um, this calls the Excel function and you have to pass in the same type of data that you would in the function. So in this case, we're passing a range, which is our selection. And so that gets us good to go. So what I've got here is I've got a selection here. I've actually linked this button. If you right click and you assign the macro, you can go that route. So I'm gonna just click on this Notice it's I'm in cell 18.5 uh, or E18. I have two sheets. I'm gonna click on this. Oh, and you'll notice I've got three sheets. So what's going on there? We got a couple things going on. The count of the sheets when you run that, it's going to give you the number of sheets that actually are in the workbook. Now you'll notice if we right click and we unhide, you'll notice that that one is there. Keep in mind that you can actually set these to very hidden as well. So if we set this to very hidden, uh, and that is very hidden there. If we still run this, it's still gonna give us three, even though we can't actually see that it's missing. So that's that's uh, uh, kind of key there. It's always gonna give you the total count. Now let's, now let's kind of do some things here. So I've extended my range, and again, I'm doing my selection row count and my selection column count. You'll notice this, this is one, two, three, four, by looks like that's around 10. And so it's eight rows and four columns. Now what does application count A does? A or count? Let's do this one more time. This is going to give me one and one here because that's the same thing. Now if I put in some text here, uh, count A will count text, count will not, count's only gonna count the number of numbers. So I'm gonna run that again, so you'll notice count A counts two in there, um, and so that's a good way to use this. Again, I'm using selection, there'd be a lot of different ways to do this, but this is basically three different ways to do count. I hope you enjoyed.